Doing a quick video here on the wood stove. I have Bilbo here who is keeping me company. Say hi, Bilbo. Oh, there's Bilbo's tail. Should probably show her butt too. Um, so here's the wood stove through the glass door. I just got a good fire going. Um, so when you look away from the stove and you look and you see the uh, flames going, that's what you want to see, right? Um, but one of the characteristics of these new stoves um, that make them so efficient is if you go down and you look you see the flames are kind of bouncing up above there. They're hitting there, but there's also, if you can see it, almost like outgassing. There's these black bars that go across the top with little uh, vents in them. So the smoke that burns from the initial combustion with the, the flames, the normal flames you see down below, it goes up and wraps around into those baffles up there and gets expelled and as it comes out it gets ignited again to burn any remaining particulates or gases that might be in there so it makes a much cleaner smoke um, so there's almost like a secondary fire going up above because when you stand back and you look at the store like oh yeah i see a little bit you know but if you get down in there you can see that and um it's going pretty good. Oh, the guy told me that on this stove, you're going to want to look at the temperature gauge on, you put it right on the stove, not on the chimney. And right there, that's in burn zone, which is what we always wanted to see on the chimney, because that means that it's hot enough that no creosote is going up there. But um, he said, nope, you got to measure it on the stove top now, because it burns so efficiently that the smoke going up the chimney is uh, already going to be cooler but there's the chimney and I know it's overcast and raining but I see absolutely no smoke coming out and with the other wood stove you would definitely see a little bit of something a little bit of gray smoke white smoke you know hopefully not dark because that means it's you know choking too much or even thicker white smoke but um and I started this about 20 minutes ago it's going up good. Um, I'm going to keep it there for a while because I, I loaded it up. I, I still have to figure out how much wood I can put in here at once and what that's going to translate to. All I have on the stove is a little lever down here that slides right and left. There's no real idea that you can see like just how much air you're letting in. Left is all the way open, so you just kind of got to figure out a slide. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, the temperature out here is about 64, and that's going to start jumping. I can already feel the heat in the room here, and I have that door open and those two windows open. This is just uh, because it's still smelling some from the paint and shipping oils and stuff in the stove. So this is the third day of baking that off, and uh, after this, it, it's probably going to smell a little bit time and again, but not that much. And we should be able to burn regularly, which we're going to need to do. Because it's in the 50s today. It is rain, damp, and um, that's supposed to clear up. But it's not going to get out of the 60s today. And this weekend, it is going to be about the same except no rain. Hey, hey, Bilbo, don't be shy. Okay, just a cat this time, no dog in the video.